Yeah, I mean, today is a special day because uh, the market here in Kerry has been running for five years. And so five years ago, we wondered why we had a market town without a market. And we did a lot of research asking the community and, um, and also um, asking the opinion of the shopkeepers, because our high street is very vibrant, um, what they would like to see. In a street market and um, with those results we analysed the questionnaires we, we, we went out and tried to find the right mix of stalls and um, the thing is these days general markets which is what people wanted are hard to configure because so many products are bought online and so traders have fallen by the wayside but one thing that you can't buy online of course is fresh food and baked food and things and so our market has naturally evolved it's much appreciated and with the community here it offers people those treats and, and, and sort of there's pop out there who, who has her stir-fry dinners and things that people buy so um, we got all the raw ingredients fish bread vegetables and so on but also some um, finished products that people buy and, and gluten-free on one stall so that's good too So I've been on the market for four years and uh, my stuff is all vegetarian and gluten free. About 15 regulars who come, not every week, but you know, and it's really good. And they all bring their own containers because I started a thing where I bought a whole load of, pl of plastic reusable containers and to try and save on the recycling and, you know, and get people to come back really. If you've, if you've got a pot, you can come and refill it. I'm Pretty Little Bakes. I bake cupcakes, um, fruit cake, brownies, and large cakes. All my cupcakes are filled. So, say for instance, if you like a Black Forest cupcake, they're filled with cherry. I've not really been to Cass Curry before, so this is the first time um, I've seen Castle Curry, um, and it's lovely. It's got some really quaint shops. And it's lovely. And people are very friendly as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I started in the stall originally as a purely a, a woolen products stall because I do needle felting and I hand spin wool and make things out of my hand spun wool. But then I was finding that people weren't buying that sort of thing on a weekly basis and as I do weekly markets I then branched out into my other favourite hobby which is making jams and biscuits mainly. Um, so that's why it's a bit of a hybrid stall, so I, I do a bit of everything, so yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's picking up uh, now for Castle Carey, and we just get, we get a lot of regulars, which is nice. Um, but also we're seeing some new faces as well coming through, so I think it's getting more popular. Uh, I've been doing the market since it started, five years ago. Um, we do a lot of markets in this area. So uh, to come along here on a Tuesday was a, was a good idea. Yeah, yeah the, the fish is mostly south coast fish, so it's coming from down Plymouth and Lou and as far down as Hale in Cornwall. Um, we buy from all around that sort of area. Also some Scottish salmon and stuff, that sort of thing. You know. So it comes from all over the country really. And it comes down overnight uh, to me and then I come out, go out and sell it. It is the quickest trade is quicker than milk it moves faster than milk fish